Oh, oh, oh it just come out. Oh, come on, let's get Freddy Five. Another green apple, nice and crunchy for you. Oh, oh no, a red apple. Yes, oh, oh the pepper's coming out. Lots of pepper has four a day, so one more to go for you, Freddy. Time for some real food now. And I can cook. <laughs> Hello, lovely to see you. I'm just getting ready for today's recipe. It's going to be so delicious and I can't wait. Come in. Hello, Katie. Hello, Roman. Hello, Katie. Hello, Summer. Hello, Hello, India. Now, do you want to know what delicious recipe we're going to be cooking in our kitchen today? Yes! <laughs> well, today's mouth-watering recipe is going to be... Chocolate and mandarin puddings. Now, doesn't that look tasty? Yes. <laughs> now, we're nearly ready to make a start, but there's something that we've forgotten to do. Do you know what it is? Wash your hands! Roll up your sleeves, give your hands a wash with slippy dippy soap. Splish, splash, blush, have you done your hands? Yes. Washed and dried, yes. sleeves rolled up, yes. apron tied. Yes. What can you do? I can cook. Let's get cooking, everyone. Yes! <laughs> to make our chocolate and mandarin puddings, we're going to need some of this, and it's called instant drinking chocolate, and it's really yummy. Yeah. Now, you should all have some instant drinking chocolate on your table. Everyone got some? Now, put your hands up if you like chocolate. <laughs> Do you like chocolate at home as well? Now, take a cup of water like this and your drinking chocolate and pour it in. And has everyone got a spoon? Yes. Can you show your spoon? Can you wave it around in the air like this? <laughs> <laughs> and can you do a good mix for me and mix it all together? <laughs> can you pretend to mix with us at home too, like this? <laughs> That's it. How's yours going, India? Is it OK? Yeah. Mine is OK. Now, put your chocolate over to the side, guys, and take your plastic bowl yeah. and put it in the middle of your mat. And can you see these funny fingers? These are called sponge fingers, and we're going to put them at the bottom of our plastic bowl. So let's take three for now. We put one in the middle and one next to it. And then I think we need to fit them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Can you, do, can you break one in half like this and then put them down the sides? Make it as flat as you can. That's really good. Well done, everyone. Now we're going to add our drinking chocolate to our sponge fingers, but we're not going to add it all. We're only going to add a little bit. So, ready, everyone? When I say stop, you stop as well, OK? Pour, 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 and stop. And a little bit more. Pour, 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 stop. I just got a little bit. That's good, that's really good, well done. Now it's good to use a clear bowl so that we can see all the lovely layers building up. What do you think we're going to need next in our recipe? Let's put you to the test, today's ingredient for you to guess. What do you think it's going to be? <laughs> Let me give you some clues. Now the missing ingredient for our chocolate and mandarin pudding is orange, so could it be... No, we're not going to eat a traffic cone. <laughs> now, the missing ingredient is orange and it's round. So, could it be... A ball? We're not going to eat an orange ball. <laughs> now, the missing ingredient is orange, it's round, it grows on trees and one more clue, it's really easy to peel. So, could it be... A mandarin orange. Did you work it out? Now, we're going to need some of these in our chocolate and mandarin puddings. Now, should we go and find out how they grow on our computer? 
Mandarins are a special kind of orange. They grow on trees in hot countries. Because they grow in hot countries, they sometimes need a lot of water. While they're growing, the mandarins are coloured green. When they're ripe and ready to be picked, they turn bright orange and they're ready to eat. And here we've got a mandarin, a tangerine, a clementine, a satsuma and an orange. Now, you can't buy fresh mandarins all year round, but you can buy them in a tin can like this. But you need to be really careful when you're opening tin cans. So this is what you should get an adult to do. So, everyone, have you got your mandarins? Yeah. OK, now, what we're going to do is layer our mandarins on top of our chocolatey sponge fingers. Are you ready to do it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> OK, everyone, take your mandarins then. And you only need to use half of the mandarins because you're going to use the others later on. Are we only going to choose that half? You can use any half you want. So you can make a pretty pattern if you want on top of your sponge fingers. I'm making already a pretty pattern. India, how are you doing? I've finished it. You can have a look. I've finished it. Really good. I think you can put some more mandarins on there actually. In the Bible. <laughs> That's really good. Next, you're going to need a bowl with some soft cheese in it, like this. And we need a whisk. Has everyone got their whisks? Yeah. <laughs> can you do this? <laughs> now, whisks are used to make our mixtures nice and fluffy with lots of little air bubbles inside. So, are you ready to do some whisking, everyone? Yeah. Ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three, whisk! And you have to hold the bowl really still while you do this. Can you whisk it round really fast, like this? <laughs> That's it, give it a really good whisk. Hand. It's on your hands? Let's have a look. <laughs> it's okay, we can get messy, I don't mind. But now we have no clue. no more clue. And now we need to add a small pot of natural yoghurt and mix it with the cheese. This is a bit like a snowy mixture, isn't it? Because everything's white. So pour in your yoghurt, everyone. Gloopy whoopy. <laughs> and now we're going to give it a really, really good whisk. And if you want, you can pretend to whisk at home, like this. <laughs> now, everyone, we need to whisk until we see lots of bubbles. Ready? Three, two, one, whisk! Keep going. Mix it round like a cement mixer, really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Carry on until your mixture's light and fluffy. Mix around the yoghurt and stir it with the cheese, and if you use a whisk, you can do it all with ease. Keep going, everyone. That's really good. I've got a little bit of bubble. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to need to use some vanilla extract and it gives your food a lovely flavour, like vanilla ice cream. But it's really strong, so you're only going to need to use half a teaspoon, like this. That's right. Now put it into your bowl of cream and cheese. And now, everyone, we're going to give it a good mix. One, One two, two, three, go! <laughs> Tane, what does the creamy mixture remind you of? Um, yoghurt. Of yoghurt, does it? Now we're going to take our whisk out of our bowl and take a spoon like this and bring back your bowl of spongy fingers and your mandarins and then we're going to spoon half of our creamy mix onto the sponge fingers and the mandarins. Spoon it on like this. It's really gloopy. Gloop. <laughs> Remember, we only need half. That's brilliant. Well done. 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 Yeah. Now, we're not quite finished because we need to do the whole thing all over again. So, everyone, can you remember the layers? Yeah. What was first? Sponge fingers. 
That's right. It was sponge fingers, then the chocolate, then the mandarins, and then the creamy mixture on top. So, should we do it all over again? Yes! OK, so first thing, we need to put some sponge fingers in. So, put them on top. Can you piece them all together like a jigsaw puzzle? And now, we need to add all of the chocolate. You ready to pour? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. OK, and then the next thing... Mandarins. Yes! Mandarins. Let's put them all on. Done. Done. Next, we need to add the rest of our creamy mix. So try and scrape every little last bit out of the bowl. I'm getting messy. <laughs> add it and spread it all around and make it nice and flat. Can you do that? So, who's ready to do the final part of our chocolate and mandarin pudding? Me! So, we're going to sprinkle some drinking chocolate on top. And this looks a bit like chocolate snow. Look at that. Now, we're using a shaker for this, but you could just sprinkle it on with the end of your fingers. Have you used all of your chocolate, Roman? <laughs> And look, can you see all the stripy layers? You can see them through the side. We've got sponge fingers, and there's a mandarin hiding. There's our creamy mix, and all the chocolate going through the middle. Is everyone finished? Yeah! yeah. Now, don't they look great, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Now we're going to put them into the fridge and cover them up and leave them there till later. Come on. Whilst our chocolate and mandarin puddings are chilling, it's time to... Tidy up! It's always good to put away so we can use things another day. So now it's time to remember what we've made today. Mix some drinking chocolate, stir it in. Stir, stir, mix, mix, stir it in. Pour it on the sponge fingers, pour it in. Now we need some mandarins, so open a tin. Add, add the mandarins, add them in. Then we whisk the cheese, whisk it thin. Add a pot of yogurt and whisk it in. Scoop it on the mandarins, scoop it in. Sprinkle on the drinking chocolate, sprinkle it in. <laughs> Our chocolate and mandarin puddings have chilled, so... Let's lay the table! Come on, everyone. Our chocolate and mandarin puddings are ready, so let's dig in. The time has come, but not too soon. The food is ready, so grab a spoon. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I love mine. Trinity, what does yours taste like? Nice. <laughs> What's your favourite part of your pudding, Summer? Mandarin. Mmm. Our chocolate and mandarin puddings are delicious. We did it! We can cook! Well, that's it for now. I can't wait to see you all again soon. And just remember, you can cook too. It's really tasty. India, what's your favourite part of the pudding? The sponge fingers. It's good, isn't it? It's really squidgy. What's your favourite part of the pudding? The chocolate. The chocolate? <laughs> if you want to make today's recipe, then go to bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies. What in Tinga Tinga is that? It's Zebra! Find out how he got his stripes in Tinga Tinga Tales. Weekdays at 10 past 4 on CBeebies. Look, I've got my birthday hat. The birthday bear has got his party hat on. It must be time to look at your birthday cards. And look, here's the first one. 
and it's for you, Ava. What a pretty card and what a very pretty picture. You are one today, Ava, and this card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and Scooby. Happy birthday. Lila is two today. And look, there's a big number two. And you are at the very top in a star. Fantastic. This card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and all of your family in the UK and in Cape Town. Wow, happy birthday, Lila. Bronwyn, there you are, the birthday girl. You are two today and you're celebrating with our friends from the Night Garden and Chuggington. And this card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and Leah. Happy birthday, Bronwyn. Dylan, you are one today and look, Knock Tock has come to wish you a very happy birthday. There you are with a big birthday smile. And this card comes with lots of love and hugs from Mummy, Daddy, Nanny, Bampy, Auntie Ali and the cats Tipsy and Maisie. Happy birthday, Dylan. George, you are three today. And look who's come to wish you happy birthday. It's Bob and your little brother, Morgan, in Bob's wheelbarrow. But where is the birthday boy hiding? Yay, there you are with a fantastic tiger face. That is brilliant. And this card comes with lots of love, hugs and kisses from Mummy, Daddy and your baby brother, Morgan. Happy birthday. Look at this big card, and it's in the night garden. It's for you, Logan, and you are one today, Logan. If we have a look inside the pinky punk, there is our birthday boy. What a lovely smile. And this card comes with lots of love and kisses from Mummy, Daddy, your big brother, Ethan, and all of your family. Happy birthday. Lewis is two today. And if we have a look underneath your name, there is the birthday boy. And this fantastic card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy, Milo, Uncle David, Auntie Chris, Nanny and Grandad. Happy birthday. Madeline, you are three today. And what a fabulous card. And it's made with lots of glitter and foam. And under this present is our birthday girl in your very own garden with lots of pretty flowers. And this card comes with lots of love from Nanny, Grandad, Auntie Annie, Uncle Paul and Lot Lot. Happy birthday. Who is this for? It's for you, Luca. And there you are, the birthday boy in the middle of your card. And you are three today. 